All right, I've got the amp out of the chassis, I'm sorry, out of the cabinet. Here's the chassis. And before I pull the circuit board down, I wanted to let you know that what I'm doing here is I'm labeling the, the push-ons. Like this one goes right here, so I labeled it accordingly. And uh, this one right here plugs into P14, so I do not want to forget where these little motherfuckers go because I will and I am not uh, I'm not a qualified amp tech so I'm not just gonna intuitively know where all this shit goes I just do this because you know I do this I don't want to pay somebody else to do this so that's why I do things like this so I, so I do most things jeez do you think I'm cheap maybe that's it maybe that's my problem no poor that's the, yes, there, we've reached the heart of the problem. There it is, the circuit board. And uh, I've got everything out of the way so that I can get to the back with my soldering iron. And, yeah. Ready to do some damage. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's take a look at what we got here from uh, Fromal Electronics. It's the... Ah, the Supreme Mod Kit, and oh, I hit the camera. Fucking hell! I keep doing that. God damn it! Instructions. Instructions. Stuff. Yeah. Ooh, cool! It comes with. New main capacitor. Ooh, quality F and T. An all metal input jack. The Blues Junior does not come with an all metal input jack. It comes with a cheap plastic metal in combination metal and plastic input jack. This one is a Switchcraft, much better quality. We've got some leads. We've got some orange drop capacitors, resistor, another orange drop, and then in the main capacitor bag we've got just a shitload of capacitors, all different types. So I'm going to read up on what's, uh, whew. oh goodness, Jesus. Looks daunting. Looks daunting. I'm a little scared. Hmm. All right, here's an important step if you don't want to electrocute yourself, which, you know, I can't imagine a world where I would want to electrocute myself. I'm just saying. Set your multimeter to uh, DC voltage, and I'm setting it to 20 volts. Gonna measure these uh, filter caps here. 0.28. So that's like, yeah, not even an entire volt, so I could touch that. Ah! Oh God, I'm just kidding. Yeah, and then uh, you just measure all the all the big filter caps because these are the uh, these bitches can hold 450 volts, not for a long time, but temporarily, and that's enough to fuck you up. <laughs> that is potentially oh, one more one more to go. Potentially lethal voltage, ladies and gentlemen. These are all around the same. Uh, about a quarter volt. So, yeah, you can touch all those. No big deal. But never touch those before you do this. You will be in for a surprise. Alright, I'm going to start with the input jack. This piece of plastic shit that's soldered directly to the circuit board. Which means, if you... One good wrenching of your uh, input uh, cable or your guitar cable into the amp, and you could fuck this thing up. So, they include in the kit a real switch Switchcraft input jack and some leads. Now, the uh, first thing you got to do is jump these two bits of the uh, of the bad boy and uh, solder in a little piece of. Uh, I'm gonna, I use 
I'm using a piece off of uh, the back of this uh, capacitor. Hey, Harper, shut the fuck up. I'm talking to you. That's my dog. Hey. Shh. Anyway, desolder all four of these, which I'm going to do now. Okay, you can see what I've done so far. I have replaced, let's see here, all the main filter caps, these, these, and these. I've also replaced these little guys, this one, this one, this one. These two replaced the orange drops, and this resistor over here, number R52. I've still got to replace this one. I've pulled it out. I've got to replace this one and this one. And here was a bit of a quandary. An unmarked, I think this is an axial uh, capacitor or axial filter cap, I think. Anyway, supposedly, what from what I've read online, it uh, doesn't have a polarity. So it could go in this way or this way. And this one needs to go right here. So I need to pop out C20, put this one in. But it did have a bend in the wire automatically, which leads me to think that that's the positive. So I'm going to, since everything I've read online says it doesn't have polarity, uh, I'm going to take this as the positive and put this on the positive side, just in case. I've also got this thing that came with the kit, and I have no idea where the fuck this thing goes. Not a clue. I don't see anything anywhere on this circuit board that's even close to this. I've, uh, I sent uh, the uh, guy I got the mod kit from uh, an email asking him what the fuck this is. have yet to hear back. So, there's that. I've got this uh, silver mica cap that I've got to replace uh, somewhere. can't remember where. I need to look at the instructions. And you'll notice i got this blue stuff going on in here. It's some of this, some blue RTV, silicone gasket maker. And it makes a gasket that can stand, uh, withstand uh, really high temperatures. You uh, put it underneath the capacitor and in between if you ever have, if they have, have the chance of touching. Um, it's underneath all of these and it's in between these. It uh, basically is like a shock absorber and glue all in one. So there's that. That's pretty cool. All right, next thing to do, I'm going to pop in this one right here, which is this bad boy. And uh, basically all you do is uh, the long wire is the positive on these. These are called radial caps. Take the long wire, put it through. Let it, I want it to dangle a little bit. There we go. See, now it's going to dangle like that, a little off to the side. And now I can get at it for soldering. Let's hit that. One down. Two down. Alright, all you do, clip off the extra lead. And toss it. All right, all of the components are now in. They are secured down with the uh, blue RTV. Yeah. And I have dressed the ribbon cables accordingly. It makes it easier to get them in, and then also, uh, from what I've read, can uh, reduce noise in the amp. And dressing these cables is the next job once I get this back into position. Oops, I had to do a quick fix. I had the uh, input, the new input jack soldered to the other side. And once it's on the other side and you push the board in, it can't go anywhere. So this needs to have freedom to move up to the input jack like so. All right, the board is back in position. I have the input jack locked in place. Next, get the screws, the seven screws that hold the, uh, the whole thing down. Get those back in place. Another important thing, or so I've read, is to dress the lead cables coming out of the transformer. So basically just braiding them in the color groups that they uh, come out. Greens together, browns together, reds together, because they go together 
on the board on the circuit board itself. Like the greens go right here, the reds go right here, browns go up here. So you want them nice and neat. Run them as best you can at right angles of one another, not parallel, and uh, and we can avoid excess noise. Uh, and I'm also going to address this set of cables up here with a little zip tie, try and get around this capacitor because it can make noise from hovering on top of it. So I'm going to try and address this to this purple cable over here, and then we can avoid getting close to that capacitor. Almost done! Oh, so close! Holy shit, I did a nice job. Look at that. Dress the output transformer cables. Dress these cables away from the capacitors that could cause some interference and noise, blah, blah, blah. I also put those down with the, the RTV. Um, it was uh, suggested in the instructions by uh, John Frommel, who I got the mod kit from. Um, I still have no idea what the fuck this is or where it could possibly go. I think it might have been a mistake to have it in this kit. Who knows? Maybe it's just a present. It's like the prize at the bottom of the uh, the cereal box. Hey, you get a 5 watt, 330 ohm Zycon, whatever the fuck this is, with your mod kit. Awesome! I'm going to poke something with it. That's all I can think of. Anyway. Cool. Time to reassemble the amp. Alright, it is almost all back together. I've got uh, two pieces left to put on it. And they sort of accompany one another. This goes in here somehow. I'm not sure. Can't remember how this went in there. Hmm. This will be fun puzzle to solve. I think it goes like this. That makes the most sense sort of cradles the uh, the tubes a little bit. But uh, here's a new uh, innovation with the Blues Jr. the Series 3, these little rubber grommets. Hey, finally, this little tube tamer is uh, functional and won't uh, make a tube arc. So, by metal contact to the glass. Now it's a nice rubber insulator. We are all wired up. Ready to rock and roll. I'm going to put these last two pieces in here and then uh, fire it up. Okay, moment of truth. Ooh, the red light came on. That's a good sign, right? All right, I have the setup, the controls set the way I would normally set it, but I've got the reverb on, which I would normally have off, but I don't have it plugged into the G system. So, let's get a taste. <laughs> system. Ooh, that's tomorrow. Kick ass. Later. <laughs>